We're back again today and we're going to do a really cool Alice in Wonderland themed tree with flowers. This is as seen on Pinterest and it's a viewer request. So I made some tweaks to it, slightly different, but it's going to be a good one. Stay tuned for right after this. Okay, so basically we're going to make a giant tree. For the base, we're going to go ahead and use the palm tree base. I have a tutorial I made a couple videos ago. You can find it in my playlist. It's how to make the base for your tree, for your palm tree. We're going to use that base, but now we're going to go ahead and move on to the top part of the tree. And this is the, the cool part. This is the key part that makes everything look nice and beautiful. <clears throat> so, what we're going to use, you could get away with 11 inches, but it's not going to do it justice. We're using 16 inch polka dot balloons right here. Okay, they're going to be going up to about 14 inches. These are the green polka dot balloons from Qualitex. What's pretty funny, I'm going to show you how I did it. I didn't have any green polka dot balloons. So, how are they here right here? How, they, how did I get them here? I'm going to show you that right now. So, I'm looking, I really wanted to do this. I had people, I had a few people request this. They were messaging me, hey, I've seen this thing on Pinterest. It's uh, a tree with flowers. I looked it up, I thought it was cool, so I made some tweaks, like I said before, but I didn't have any green polka dot balloons. I did, however, find 16 inch clear balloons, polka dot. So all I needed was 16 inch greens, and I did have them here. All right, so all I did is I rolled up my green, my lime green balloon, and you could do this with any, any, any two balloons, patterns, um, Pattern clear balloons. I stuck in my green balloon into my 16 inch polka dot clear balloon and then I went and started inflating them that way with my pump and I'll show you how that looks right now. And voila, I have a polka dot lime green balloon so I can make this for a video. Anyway, with that being said, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and make something similar to a topiary. You can do a topiary balloon, a, topiary, a, a regular topiary centerpiece or any sculpture made out of something called a topiary. It is made out of six quads, a total of 12 balloons. These are 16 inches, so they get a little bit tougher. You still could do it, the whole 12, but to make my life a little bit simpler, I'm going to go ahead and use 10. I still think it look, looks okay. So I'm going to use 10 total balloons, so it's going to be five quads of, five duplets of lime green 16 inch polka dot balloons. We're going to go ahead and just blow them up to about 14 inches and then you tie them together to make a duplet. And then we're going to start adding our duplets together just like any other way. So we're going to go ahead and make a quad to start. And, then, and we just add them like this and add a marion. Okay? The 16 balloons are way bigger, so it's a little bit tougher to put them together. So it takes some practice. If you're going to book a job like this or attempt it, make sure you practice first before you go ahead and do it on the day of because, you know, you're going to, you're going to get the feel for it. Okay? So, Go ahead and you make your quad, then we're going to take another duplet and add that right on. Alright, so now I have three duplets here. We're going to go ahead and take another duplet and add that on. Just leave it on the table, stick it right on the top, and then push this balloon down, separating your other balloons. It's a little tricky here. And then I'm going to add my last one to make it more of a rounder shape. I'm going to put the quad and the duplet on the top and then try to get the other balloon to go right underneath. Like I said, it gets a little tricky. Slide the topiary on top 
and attach the 260 to the top of this uh, pole uh, with the balloons right here and then to the center of your topiary, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get our topiary here. Well, it's not really a topiary, but our topiary-like structure. So we're going to go ahead and tie our 260 to the center of our uh, piece of our topiary-like structure. So we're going to go ahead and take that and tie it right to the middle. Slide our topiary right on top, and I take this 260 and tie it to the top of my of, of my uh, my stand. Just like so. Once we have that, now we're going to start adding our flowers. Okay, we're going to start with the flowers. So we're going to take a regular 260, blow it up to about three fingers on the end. We're going to have about, there you go, about three to four fingers on the end. We're going to tie it. And the way you're going to do this, there's a couple different ways to make flowers. I want to show you a what I'm going to just show you the way I'm going to make a five petal flower real quick, okay? So what we're going to do is just bend it down, grab with your two fingers, you're going to grab the nozzle, and you're going to make about a three finger bubble, okay? We're going to twist it, take that nozzle and stick it through out here, okay? And you're going to do that five times. So you're going to bend it again, making sure it's the same exact size, and Making sure it's the same size. You can do that five times. So it's two, three, four, and then we're going to do it five times. Okay. Making sure you have five flowers. Now, if, if you don't do them exactly the same, you can even see like this one's a little bit longer. It's going to not be symmetrical, but that's okay. So, you're going to take that and you're also going to take a curly cue. I show another video how to make these curly cues. So, you're going to want to go ahead and check out how to make a curly cue in one of my playlists there or just YouTube it. And I'm sure there's, other, there's a few other people that show you how to make this. Not hard at all. Now, once you have this, you're going to take the, eye, the side that doesn't have the nozzle, you're going to make it bubble, and then we're going to stick that right on top. So, we're going to take it, pull it on top, pull this down, and twist. And then you're going to have your flower. So we're going to take, make two flowers and attach it to our new, uh, our new tree here. So you take your two flowers and we're going to tie these two together. Just put the tree in the frame. And then what you're going to do is slide your two flowers into the middle of the center uh, of the topiary. adjustments and we're going to do that we're going to do that about uh, as many flowers as you want I'm going to do that about five times three or four times okay Okay, once you added a bunch of flowers, it's nice, maybe we should put some more curly cues to fill up the area, like I'll put some here, I'm gonna put some down here, and then it's really gonna just fill it out. Okay, so I went and added some more flowers, some more curly cues on top, and that's basically it. That's how you do it. If you wanna add more, you just make a couple more flowers, tie them together, put them onto the tree, and uh, I'm gonna zoom out, show you a nice picture of it, and, uh, oh. 
There's your Alice in Wonderland balloon centerpiece, uh, centerpiece, sorry, sculpture. I hope you like it. Make sure you stay subscribed. If you want to see more videos like this one or you have some themes that you want, let me know. I'll do my best to accommodate you and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.